John Crisp says, I'm enjoying Karmic 9.10. Thanks for the tip on Metacity. Enabling access uh, to update manager in those areas. Comp is stops those necessary functions. Glad that that helped for you there, John. I remember that, uh, that question coming in. Can I delete the various grub entries when one updates? It lists every version. Example, uh, recovery and generic, line after line, every single kernel. Do we need them? Just one should be sufficient. How does one delete them? It depends on the version of grub that you're using. But essentially, there's a few different things that you can do. And uh, I'll just make sure I got my facts straight as far as what lines to add there. How many is a grub line that, uh, that we're going to want to use in certain versions of grub? If you go, let's see if I can just, I'll just bring this up. So, Alt F2. GK, sudo, gedit, etc. Oh no, it's going to be boot grub menu.l. And see, I can never remember. Is it LST or LIST? Let's try LST first. It's going to ask me for my password. I think it's LIST, maybe. Oh, I got it right with LST. Okay, so that's the file. We did GK sudo so that it would be, so that we would be a super user there so that we'd have access to writing this file. Okay, So depending on your setup, you may have grub2. In which case, I don't run grub2 on my system at this point because I've just gone through the upgrade process. But, uh, but with this version, when you open this file, if you don't get this file, let me know because I'll, I'll be happy to just get you the answer, no problem. Uh, but you can add a command. Let's see if it's in here already called how many. Oh, here you go. And it's actually in there with a couple of examples. How many equals seven means it's going to give you the last seven kernels. How many equals all is, I think, probably the default. But what we can do is change how many to one or two. And it's going to give you just those that number of kernels. As far as deleting the stuff that you, that you don't want, you were talking about generic and see how many kernels I've got here. Recovery mode is very helpful to have that don't necessarily want to get rid of that. But you can comment it out. So just go to the beginning. Of, this is the same file. And just put a hashtag before each, each line of each. Uh, you know, so this is the recovery mode for that running kernel. Okay? So I can comment those out if I like. But I wouldn't necessarily delete them, because you may want to put it, up, put it back. Once you save that, you reboot grub. Uh, make sure you also keep a backup of grub dot, uh, menu dot list, menu dot lst because I don't want to see you break it, because then you can have trouble booting your computer. You'll be able to use that recovery mode to rename the file. So if you do break it, um, just keep a backup, like call it menu.lst.back, something like that, and save it in the same folder. By doing that, if you break your actual menu.lst, you just go into recovery console, which is basically the terminal, and you'll be able to delete the file, rename your old backup file, and reboot. Pardon me. So that, uh, that should at least get you started if you're running a semi-similar version to me.